boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? What's good, what's good? It's your boy DJ Lil King, Rod Night Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure you like, follow, and subscribe on all Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all that good shit. Uh, Instagram, every, all the social medias, man, we on all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Got my dog Droopy M in the building today to help me what's with the interview the today, you know what I'm saying? Down. We got my boy, man. Y'all might have seen him on the Riding High News episodes that we do. He been putting on for the corporate skateboarding community for a minute now, you know what I'm saying? Doing giveaways, having different events where he's having safety precautions and giving away safety supplies for kids to use while they're skateboarding, such as helmets and pads and everything that just goes with the whole skateboarding. And when I think of skateboarding in Corpus, this is probably... As of right now, I'd probably say he's probably one of the at the at the forefront of representing the skateboarding community in Corpus. If not, definitely one of the top three that's definitely putting on for the Corpus skateboarding culture. You know what I'm saying? Today, man, we got my boy Alex Skates up in here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all What's up, y'all? This. Alex Martinez. We call him Alex Skates. You know what I'm saying? What's good with it, man? What's good with it? What's up, man? Representing that skateboarding universal, man. We're going to get into it, man. We're going to jump in. We're going to jump into it from the beginning, man. Where, where you from, Alex? Originally, I'm, I was I was born in Corpus. Stayed here till about three years old. Lived in Molina, but I don't really remember none of that. So uh, where, where I say I'm from is Petronila, Texas, man. It's about 20, 25 minutes uh, away from here. And uh, nothing but country land, you know what I'm saying? Um, skateboarding didn't didn't really like in the country nothing really like got over there you know what i'm saying unless you saw it like on mtv or stuff like that and uh unless you re- read the magazines in school you know what i'm saying or the uh, the books from the library you know what i'm saying you saw them in the books but born and raised petronila texas man that's that's originally where i'm from and uh skateboarding you know i I got introduced to it like let's, in, we gonna get into the skateboarder okay, later yeah, on. Yeah, let's yeah. let's get into Lil Alex before yeah, we yeah. even jump into to, to skateboarding Alex. and all. Let's yeah, let's yeah. jump into Baby Alex. What was Lil Alex doing like as a kid? Man? He's on skateboarding, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 no, my, my mom, my mom had me playing football, baseball. And this is in Petronilia. Petronilia had a, a well, we didn't have a league, but it was called Bishop Driscoll Little League. Five, I think five six years old, you're able to start playing t-ball. And uh, she would work in Corpus, come back, get I'll get out of school, take me to practice in either Bishop or uh, Driscoll because they were the closest, you know what I'm saying, to the league they had. And uh, that was five, six years old, you know what I'm saying, up till I was up to high school, you know what I'm saying. But little, yeah, I, I just she just kept me in sports to stay busy, you know what I'm saying, active. So you was playing like what, like t-ball? You weren't playing like basketball or football? No, just just football, uh, baseball in uh, Bishop and Driscoll, and then at the CC Youth Football here in uh, Corpus, I would play during the football season. So you was living in Petronilia, driving every yeah. day to Corpus during football season yeah. to play for CCYFL. My mom would work in Corpus, get out, drive back to the house, pick me up, change, come back to Corpus for practice. How far is games. that? How far is that from Corpus? How long the uh, drive? Like Bishop, 20, yeah, 25, 25 20 minutes, minutes yeah, 20, 25 yeah. minutes, you know what I'm saying? But back then, the speed limit was 55, so, yeah, it took, a while. it took it took a while. So, she did that Monday through Friday. Yeah, right? and then on the yeah. weekends, on the weekends were games, man. Yeah, she, where the games were on the weekends. She did yeah, everything. She, she worked overtime just so I could have everything I needed to play sports, you know what I'm saying? She just she just wanted me to, to be busy, and, yeah, I just played sports all my ever since I was small, you know what I mean? So what was y'all doing, like, as kids, like, in the streets? Or was y'all not even, like, in the streets as kids, like, growing up in, like... So, so what, what, like, what, at what point do you move to Bishop? Well, Bishop is uh, the junior high is there. So once you leave the elementary there that they had in Petronila, yeah. you go to sixth grade. Okay, so you were still living in Petronila, Petronila going yeah. to middle school in Bishop? Yeah, the bus would pick you up, drop the kids off at the elementary that went to the elementary, then drive to the high school, and then the high school was connected to the junior high. So it would take everybody. How big is Petronilia? Um, like man, when ten blocks, five blocks. No, nah, right? it's it's it it goes like into uh, land. You know what I'm saying? Like it's there's like uh, four pieces. You know, there's the when you first get into it coming from Corpus, they say that's like the Mexican or the people that came from Mexico, or Brownsville, <laughs> whatever. You know, majority is is Mexicans right there. You All know what right. I'm saying? You go down the ways by getting into the town it is another area then there's another area by bishop so it's kind of separated you know what i'm saying all in different areas 
Oh, and really? when I was there, population was 83. 83 people. 83 people. 83, So when I bro. say out there in the streets playing as kids, that wasn't There was no there. streets. It was ranch land. You're doing farm shit. Dirt road, man. Shooting so guns, no making fires. Like that. We had neighbors, but it was still ranch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was really? country shit. It wasn't no city shit. It was just straight up your country living. You, you know what I'm saying? That whole life Population 83. Population God, 83, damn. bro. It says right so, here the population of the city was 89, 89 okay, at see, the yeah. 2020 census. Yeah. God. 89, I, I was close. So it might have been a few babies born yeah. since then. <laughs> but damn. but now it has expanded. You know, people from here are going to the country and shit like that. But back then, yeah, there was nothing. So middle school, what's up at, at Bishop Middle School? You jump into sports, band, yeah. or anything like that? Uh, what happens in middle school? Yeah, middle school, I joined the band. And then, uh, you know, I did that for probably a year. But then it was uh, football. I was still playing baseball at the time, but the main thing was football. You know what I'm saying? I was running back. I loved it, man, ever since playing youth football here in Corpus. Hey, so they played six-man ball over there? No, no, it wasn't ball. that small. It was like a 3 eight. It was <laughs> like bad. a – it was, it, was, it, was, it was, yes, it was that small, well, but Bishop, it wasn't yeah, – Bishop's, was, yeah, Bishop's 3 eight. They play against like – well, back when, in the day, we used to – when was, I was at West Oso, we would play against like Bishop. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, we yeah, play against yeah. like Sidon and Tav. Yeah, and exactly. Shit, like, Ingleside. Yeah, Ingleside. Yeah, Ingleside. Yeah, Ingleside. I, know they have, I know they have them little towns, man. They yeah. got the little six-man where they're playing six-man ball. Yeah, they do. They do. That's a – that's a small that's yeah, smaller no. than that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, Bishop that's... was like two A, three A the whole time I was there back and forth. And I think now they're gotten so big that they're four A. No, no, now, it now. ain't it ain't that they gotten so big. Now basically UIL has added another division. Oh, okay, when okay. we were in school, UIL only had one A, two A, three A, four A, yeah. five A. Now they have six A. So a lot of the schools that were us uh, five A back then. Where, where they had so many kids that yeah. they made them six A schools. Mm. So West Oso back in the day used to be a three A school, but now they're now they're a four A school. Yeah, also. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of them three uh, okay. A schools turned to four A schools. A lot of them four A schools turned to like Cal Allen and them. Yeah, like five yeah, A yeah, schools, yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that now type shit. Hell yeah. But yeah, that was a junior high just playing sports. You know the same thing. Man, I didn't really like. I just did it for a year or whatever because you were able to like pick a, a what is it called like elective. a yeah elective and I just did that. Was you playing band? Uh, trumpet. I played yeah. the trumpet when I man, was. Man, I wanted. I, I tried so hard. Like I, I don't know if I was telling y'all last time. I tried so hard to like want to be in the jazz band and shit, but I never made it. See, I hated <laughs> jazz band. I didn't I, like. Whenever I was in band, I like I was like marching band and that's it. Whenever it was time for like concert band and like. Us to do like Christmas concerts, like fuck no, like I ain't signed up for this shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm trying to march, like yeah, I'm yeah. trying to do the parades and shit like that, like yeah. fucking battle against other fucking schools and shit, like See, we didn't, concert time. You're on some drum line doom, shit, doom, yeah. Doom, yeah. Like man, yeah, we I'm trying to be on some yeah. drum. We didn't have shit. that. We didn't. Line shit. But hey, part put of a, band is put you a mic to, closer to you. You're in band, you're in it the whole year. Put a mic closer to you. If you when you're in band, you're in it the fucking whole year. So basically. You got to do the marching part and you got to do the fucking concert part yeah. shit. So that's basically why I was in band shit. We didn't have marching band. It was just like the y'all regular did have, band. So y'all, how did y'all, so football games, whenever they Not, do, well, no, well, band, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't separated. It's all the same oh, okay, shit. Yeah, band yeah. is band. Yeah, that's why yeah, I said yeah, like, did, yeah. whenever you, if you, you're in band, if you're in the marching band, you're in the concert band. Like yeah, it ain't yeah, no right. separate like type shit. Like, so if you're in band that you're going to do marching and you're going to do the goddamn concert shit. <laughs> yeah. So hell yeah. So you're saying, oh, but in middle school, they don't really have, they don't have, march, yeah, they do, they do got middle marching band, but they well, didn't really just do parades. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, do yeah. like football games, they yeah. just do parades. Hell, exactly, yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Was any kids like thugging it over there at fucking Driscoll? Do y'all have like any badasses and shit like that? In Bishop, there was a... I mean, Bishop, Bishop, my yeah, bad. It, there was a, well, the side that's like east side, and then there's the west side. West side, I guess you would call it thugging it, but it... To me, it wasn't like no city thugging it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it wasn't a big town. You know what I'm saying? So there, yeah, there's kids out there doing bad stuff and bad things, but it wasn't no. To me, it was disciplined town. You know. So what y'all saying? moved like, to Bishop. Uh, did anybody uh, sell drugs out there? Yes, it was all still there. Did everybody know that that person yes, sold drugs yes, out there? Everybody knew. That, we were gonna get to that. We were gonna get yeah. to well, that. Well, that's yeah. what I'm, you, you were asking yeah. if it was you know anybody thugging it out there or whatever. They, they, so well, when I say middle school, I mean just niggas thugging it in general. I mean, shit. Really hustling like, in middle school, it, but we oh, still nah, that thugging it. You people know was saying? hustling in middle there, school. There was, that's I don't say I don't. I wouldn't say hustling, but Bishop was a real like. Like it's like Dis- we said last time, like yeah. a real strict. Like yeah, real strict, dish. man. They 
school. You you school you went district. to school not to mess up. Yeah, you mess up. There's your mess ups, but nothing like. Probably more like fights and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. nothing crazy like. <clears throat> yeah, same shit. Like, you pick up a dope yeah. charge. One niggas at West nah. also getting caught with fucking sacks of weed or with nah. knives and shit like nothing that. like that. Nah, just oh man, fighting. that's like same situation. That's like one situation. Both things you just said. <laughs> but we'll get into that in the future podcast. But yeah. For sure, for sure. So, uh, and, uh, and like I said, do y'all do you ever move to Bishop? Well, my sister, uh, rest in peace, man. My sister passed away. I moved with her there. The last year that I went to school there, and uh, okay, well let's talk about a little bit about that. How did how does that transition? How do you end up moving from with your, well, she, with your she, parents to moving in with your sister? She gets married and uh, she wants me to live with her, so they get married and they end up having a house there in Bishop, and uh, it's right there by the school, so it's walking distance. Oh, you know, shit, it was already. like four yeah. blocks, so I just wake up and go to school there. You know what I'm saying? Then after that stuff happened, she passed. We came back to uh, Corpus. And uh, ended up going to Moody, but I didn't want to leave Bishop, so I would drive every day from Corpus to Bishop because I wanted to be with my people, you know what I mean? And then after a while, I just came my last year's to Corpus. How was it moving out from with your parents, parents to moving in with your sister, though? That's what it, I'm trying to get to. It was a... Uh, like, was your parents tripping? Like, No, no, my mom trusted, had it all trust in my sister. You know, she took real good and care of me. And did they kind of me. understand that you were going to be closer to the school? Yeah, yeah, shit. for sure. All That's right. why it was so yeah, easy just no. to, like transition i guess you know what i'm saying all right so they didn't really put up a nah, fight as nah. far as you're trying to move in with nah. your sister type shit nah it wasn't nothing crazy like that it was it was it was smooth shit. everybody was cool with it god damn so then you say you're you're a bishop of high school for what years like uh up to the last like the end you know i had to uh i was going through some stuff you know what i'm saying with my sister passing and having i just had to move back to, to with my family you know what i mean and yeah. when i ended up uh Moving back to Corpus, going to Moody, messing up a little bit. So you know, at that here. time, whenever you leave Bishop and uh, after stuff happened with your sister and you leave Bishop and you come back to Corpus, at yeah. this point, your mom and your family has settled yes, in Corpus? Yes, Corpus, okay, yeah, babe, already. Babe, yeah, they okay, moved to babe. the ABC neighborhood and they're here. And so I just moved in, came, and it, it was it was hard for me to... to so like, what, is it, what was the yeah, adjustment it, it, like? It, it was hard for me country. to understand how kids didn't listen. You know what I'm saying? They were like, didn't give a shit. They didn't. They weren't scared of the teachers. So at this time in the ABC streets, this is uh, we're we're this is what, what year is this? So we're yeah. still, this is the time where yeah. people are still out in the streets. Yeah, yeah, still, yeah. So you're basically seeing like a whole different. From, yeah, I was an athlete, bro. I didn't like. And ABC you know streets growing yeah, up, yeah, yeah. Roger, we used to hear ABC streets like the time, they weren't yeah. necessarily thugging it over there, but like they they, they, they were. were yeah. still, <laughs> there, was, there was still shit happening, yeah, bro. Exactly. I, I would yeah, go yeah. and I would see shit at my mom's going on, whatever. I'd be like, hey man, y'all need to get out of here, whatever, whatever. You know, it was going on here in the city. You know, that's just what the fuck people did during that that time. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. It was it was hard because like the kids didn't listen at at the school at, at uh, Moody going seen all that shit and i was like i didn't want to be there you know what i'm saying so i just like i didn't care like dropping out you know and then i got eventually my got tired of my mom hearing her hey you need to go to school you need to graduate so i ended up getting my shit together graduating later and ended up you know finishing off there at moody but it was hard man it was hard to to switch over from that guess country discipline life to the city life you know what i mean it it, it wasn't what I, the way i was brought up to be I wasn't was, brought. Hell yeah. I wasn't brought up to be. It was a complete like, culture shock. Huh? Yeah, but dude, to it, me, it yeah, wasn't. Re- you come from a small yeah, town. Like, I come from a small town where and they're you come like over here, and it's, a, it's just boom. Yeah, look, okay. I, just, I think it, this it, is, it, it, it felt like it happened. Like this seems crazy. It says the city has a total area of one point eight square miles, all of it land. So this, all these people that he grew up with, was in. A mile, like, radius. a mile yeah. radius, pretty much. Hey, but it, but there's people. Everybody, the, he you knew. gotta remember, Bishop is there. Like he was saying, people go to high school in Bishop from fucking Petronilia, yeah. from Driscoll. From but were well, y'all going over there like outside of school though? Were we what? Were you going over there to uh, Bishop outside of school? Like with people from Driscoll and Petronilia? Would y'all go like, chill over there? And hang around in Driscoll? Yeah, like, yeah, because you're friends with. What did y'all do over there on Friday nights, bro? You know, okay, okay, check this out. Because I know over there in Mathis, bro, they 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 do the strip thing, bro. Yeah, they just drive. They yeah, just that's drive. the same thing. Yeah. Same, basically same shit. All them small thing, towns do that do shit. I noticed shit, that huh? shit in the valley. Bishop, yeah. Bishop, and Kingsville are five minutes apart, so that's a drive. You know what I mean? You drive over there, drive back. You come back like nothing. You know what I mean? That's just yeah. what it was. What you did? Yeah. yeah. You drive the whole town. You fucking blink and you miss it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's yeah. small, so that's what it, that's what just cruise it. Okay, so in high school, going to high school, since you say that, going to high school in like uh, 
and Bishop and being close to Kingsville, y'all fucking around in Tamuk any any bit? Yeah, we uh, a lot of the college over there, the college uh, they would have the tailgating was popular back then. Oh shit, like, y'all would go to like yeah, tailgates, tailgates and, and y'all never went to no college parties and shit. Hell yeah! Damn, come on, speak <laughs> yeah, on song, hell yeah. man. God damn, hell yeah. you sit there trying try to open up. Hell today. yeah, come we on, uh, man. we well, that was later on. You know what I'm saying? As I was older, I had a friend who who lived over there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and, but, but in like high school, y'all were just basically yeah. going to Bishop High School parties type shit. Y'all weren't really it, 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 like it, the, it the was college a, parties. We'll be drinking at the tailgates okay, uh, at the yeah. at the at the college. What it was is you go to the tailgate, you drink, you get fucked up, and then you go to the games. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean, you cheer yeah, on yeah. the the, the football uh, team. Yeah, the football yeah. team. Hell yeah! And then you go. They somebody's gonna be throwing a party at some apartments. You know what I'm saying? They're all right there, the dorms, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Man, them parties are crazy, man. Hella yeah. crazy people. You you wouldn't think that you would meet because there's Mexican, Black, Chinese. I mean, everything. You know what I'm saying? They're all mingling in there, and it's throughout the whole town. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's. It's like a college town, basically, to me. I mean, that's what the university is there. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of parties, like big parties that go on. Okay, living in over there in, like, the small towns out there, are people looking at Corpus like, man, I got to get the fuck out of here and get to Corpus. Like, as far as, like, like, oh, when I turn 18 or I'm... I like, the, the next yeah. big town yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah like, for sure, for sure. Every, and not even, like, Corpus. I, I think that they're, like, smart, you know what I'm saying? And they go on to do big... Trying to Big get to like Houston yeah, and yeah. Dallas and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Trying to get to San yeah. Antonio. Some military, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're they're trying to get out, man. Not not trying to get to San Marcos yeah. at least. Yeah. Out, out. You know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to be no corpus. Kings. A lot of them have gone to Kingsville College. I mean, because it's right there. They like they like being close to home, I guess. But nah, for the most part, I think everybody just. Right, right, right up out. Yeah, they're I gone. Right, right about that motherfucker yeah. too, bro. Just Hell, flew. Yeah. Shit, when do you get into skateboarding? Was there anybody skateboarding in like Bishop and Kingsville back in them days? Yeah, well, when my my uh, sister she she also went to Bishop, and uh, she was a three year letterman in softball, so where they would practice was like the town park. Already, they would they would uh, have the games there too, and there's like a pavilion thing. Well, there was some guys skating or whatever that were there, and I was just like, what the hell, like. Ended up being somebody that I knew. I think it was like my sister's boyfriend at the time, younger's brother or whatever, just skating, skating. And I was like, dude, I lo- I like fell in love with it. You know what I mean? I wanted to know how to do it. How old were you at this point? I think it was 98, oh, 1997 shit. or 98. I think oh, I was really? 12, 13 maybe. Oh, really? 12, yeah, 12 or 13. And I think the board was like an Angel angel Board Powell, like Angel Boy Powell, Powell and Peralta, Peralta. I don't know how you say the name. Is but that those a, are, that's an older, older that's board. That's a brand? Yeah, a brand. Guys. And uh, that was like my first board he ever gave me, dude. And ever since then, I was just like. So I'm, you go skateboarding with the dude at the pavilion that same yeah. day? Yeah, well, he's like showing me, you know what I'm saying? He's showing me they're, they're skating, whatever. Oh, well, shit. well, they would have a thing where they would just like show up with their ramps and stuff. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like they'd be skating, grinding. And you didn't on even them. have a board at this point. I didn't have nothing. Then like he brought, he gave me a board and I was like, oh, shit. Damn. So I would just like practice, practice. You know, they would be there random days, whatever. But I would be there because my sister. Would be practicing softball, you know what I'm saying, yeah, at, at yeah, that place. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm a kid playing, so yeah, yeah. yeah, I would just go there and then took took off after that, man. I just never yeah, saw. So you still remember homie who gave you your first? Yeah, board? Steven Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah. damn, yeah. shout out yeah. Steven, man. I don't know what shout he's doing. Out, shout out. Yeah, from Bishop, he lived right there close to the park. You know what I'm saying? So, so were yeah, they man. on some like Tony Hawk type shit? Like, they were. They were really good for for. They because were basically kind of like youngsters themselves. Yeah, they the were time. they were they were teenagers, bro. Oh, either really? in junior high or I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? But they were young. They were young. Yeah, they were young, young, man. They were young, but they were real good, dude. They were, man. They were good, man. And I was just like, I wanted to do that so bad. You know what I'm saying? And I they had their do, own ramps and shit. Out yeah, there, they so had they their were, own already. boxes and rails or whatever it was, man. They would skate on. But yeah, yeah that's where that's yeah. where it, took. it was in 90 man 97 97 or 98 i can't remember the year but i think i was in fifth grade so probably 98 so then yeah. did you like join like their little skating crew was that like your first skating crew you were maybe part nah, of it wasn't a, it wasn't ever like a crew they just like they just met up at yeah they did, they just met up there with skate whatever and i would just like be there too like kind of the little kid there you know what i mean that's yeah. that's, well, that's what i was the but, alone. Yeah, just just little fucking kid, you know, trying would, to skate. Would they let you uh, like use their board yeah. in between and shit like that? Nah, never their board, but they would like let me skate with them on like. Try what I mean, ramp. like before you got your board. Oh yeah, he kind of like, I think he like get. I remember him just giving it to me right away, like so, yeah, yeah. yeah. He like gave it to me right away, and I was like, oh shit, I have my own shit oh, now. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Element to be, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
I guess because I like he saw that I was like interested in it. You know what I mean? Like he just like here. All right. Yeah, now yeah. I was saying because the ones that I grew up with that I told you we would end up in the same world. Yeah, because they were they were like sharing boards. Yeah, so you know what I mean. Like they would take a one, take yeah, a ride, extra, and then yeah, come yeah. back, do some tricks, yeah. come back, pass the board on, smoke, pass the sweet type <laughs> shit. Yeah. So well, yeah, did you like were you fucking with any homies that were like skateboarding back then in like middle school and high school and shit, or you was like a one man fucking team type shit? To be honest, it was just those two. It was like Steven and I think the other guy was Dottie L and some white dude named Cody. And that was it. Were oh, they Rock hating, on, on, were my they hating on like skateboarding like over there and shit? Like as far as like maybe skating at the school and even just the city. I remember there was a big part in time where yeah. they were like hating on skateboarding in, here in Corpus. You in know Corpus, like, yes. Tough, you know what I'm saying? This was maybe about 20 yeah. years ago down there. But I remember they were hating real tough. Yeah, they they still, sure, they still are. But Damn. in, Cor- in Corpus, in Corpus... <laughs> In Corpus, there were, but not not in. I mean, because it's a small town, you know what I mean. Yeah. They, they really didn't like. Fuck with y'all. Yeah, nah. It. But there was only a few. You know. Don't what I'm say saying? the there, community was so small. There yeah, was in yeah. like. Hey, what were the cops like over there, man? Crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I'm being honest, bro. We would in a party. Good way or we a bad would party. Way? We would party and get away with hey, that shit. Like, oh, okay. he's he's like, underage. 40, no, they're gonna call. Yeah. I'm movie? not gonna say no names, but they were uh, Varsity Blues. Yeah, that's exactly what it that was. That type of dude. shit. Yep. I could okay. imagine that. See, yeah. that's because you're, you're, seems live as fuck. But the football because, team wasn't good. Yeah. So <laughs> I, 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 I got a story about about the football team too. I'll say in a minute or now or whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So we're all varsity football, right? We're you're playing varsity. Varsity Bishop football. We're the thing, I don't know if it's like a city thing or a country thing, but you like go and you wrap toilet paper on the underclass houses during homecoming, homecoming wars. So shaving cream at their house, fucking whatever you could find to, to fuck them up, basically. Damn. So, so this is like the freshman and JV players, you the, mean? Yeah, freshman JV. You so fucking, when you're on varsity, like it's homecoming, you fucking trash the, the, yeah, the uh, J- JV, JV yeah, the yeah, yeah. houses. God, yeah, damn. yeah, yeah. Or you see them in the town and you fucking egg their cars oh, or shit, shit. like that. Oh, like Stupid ahead. ass youngster shit, you know what I mean? But What's the egg their cars? Well, there's one time, <laughs> it's all the football players in the homie's truck and somebody calls the cops on us and boom, the fucking lights go on and we're like chasing, a little chase through the town of Bishop, bro. Yeah, we oh, end shit. up, we end up going through an alley and he hits a fucking line and all you hear is Pfft. We're like, oh, it's going to explode, it's going to explode. Like, we didn't know what the fuck it was. It was a water line. Yeah. Oh, a water line under his truck just yeah, pops, yeah, yeah, yeah. spraying water right everybody just runs like ants dogs scatters God the dudes damn. that are in the truck they get caught so it happened to be bishop junior high is called lillian's uh junior high lillian's something junior high i mean yeah lillian lures junior high after miss lure she's a teacher there in bishop we okay. crashed in back of her fucking house bro <laughs> back of her fucking house bro so coach finds out, I guess, next day. Well, we, oh, ha- <laughs> we have to go and fix that. I think we had to throw money in to repair damn. it or whatever. Like, and they we had to go back the next day, and all of us fucking had to go fix that shit. Did y'all get suspended? Nah, it, we 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 never like got in actual trouble. But besides having to fix it the next day, and then uh, running in football practice, all that you know, that was it. Yeah. yeah, that was the no punishment. no like criminal charges, oh, no man. nothing, that shit, bro. That's good. That's good. You but probably, because that small town shit. That's yeah, what I'm I was saying. gonna say like, here you'd probably still be in prison. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> that was. Damn, the police were literally chasing y'all with the sirens all the shit. Yeah, like it wasn't a far chase, but it was enough to where we're trying to get in the like, fucking nigga, alley and get away. Jail, yeah, yeah, got caught, yeah we shit. all just fucking ran and everybody. Hey, Alex was over there playing Deuce and Hazard, man. Dude, yeah, man. Damn, living man. it up. Yeah, shout out to Bishop Varsity team back then, man. Oh five, oh four, whatever it was, man. Oh man, those are good old days. God damn. But, yeah, so let's just get back into the skateboard yeah. this shit, babe. <laughs> so when do you like start like meeting people in Corpus that are a part of like the skateboarding scene? And mm-hmm. who's maybe like the first significant pe- person that you meet within like the Corpus scene? Okay, uh probably like in 2000, 2001, like the early 2000s, I started to come to the uh, T-Heads. The T-Heads was a main spot for like all the badass skaters in the city you know what i'm saying the before t-head, the skate park yeah before the skate park was a t-head red circle bro it was a it was a circle i mean the, the the red circle had like a stage on it or something but then it had like another stage on the sign 
on the side with where they sold snow cones, oh, really? had events and shit like that. There's a lady out there DJing or whatever. And, uh, man, I actually, um, I didn't know all the dudes' names, but I knew who they were. Well, ended up happening, my dad got a job with the, with the dude who his son skateboarded. And he's like, hey, my son skates too, bro. He's like, you want to meet him? I think it's 2002 or 2000. I don't remember, 2001. Justin Merrill, bro. Justin Merrill. He was a badass skater back then, a white dude. His dad owned a glass company here, and he's, they still own it, I believe. It's way out Weber. Oh, really? Glass contractors. Uh, he would pick me up, bro, and he would take me with all his homies. And to me, those were the OGs. And to this day, I'm still friends with all them dudes from back then, bro. Damn, that's what's We may not talk every day, but, you know, with social media and shit, you... you it's a homeboy, yeah, yeah, still, dude. And they... I'm still friends and shit. They show... It was uh, Justin Merrill, uh, Skater Ed. Skater Ed was known for, like, having this big, badass ramp in his backyard, bro. Half pipe, all badass. And they would do basically, like, the stuff that you see me doing, like, with the ramps and all that. Yeah. I got that shit from them, bro. Oh, I got really? all that shit that I do, I got it from them. They did the exact same thing. To them, I mean, back then, what yeah. what I'm doing now, you know what I mean? Oh, really? And uh, in the youth, man. That's yeah, really Lex, and, Lex and Abel, they're uh, they living up up in Austin right now, man. They're they're brothers. They're the ones that y'all always see when I go up to Austin. I'm with one of them, or both of them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think there's another dude named Juan. But yeah, definitely that dude, Justin Merrill, bro. He he introduced me to all of them, and uh, he would they would take me places. You know, back then there was like skate parks open here, bro, but. The city would shut them down. Shut them down. They he, they were like private skate. Yeah, parks they were like private were like parks. Like yeah, park, Justin like Mer- Justin Merrill kind of. So where were these parks at? Like, can you remember? Uh, remember Victoria them? had one like in an old hangar, like in a uh, helicopter hangar. So these weren't really like official skate parks. These were just some shit that the homies. No, had no, they were they were they were legit parks, bro. But they weren't sanctioned through the city. That's what I mean. They, so why they, you say they, they were getting shut down then? And, well, and because. Were, the, I don't understand the city would let them and then take it away is what I'm saying. I don't know if it was the paperwork that wasn't right or what, but every park that would, was getting built back then would eventually just go away with. You know what I mean? I don't know what the whole deal was, but yeah. So, like I said, we had one here in front of Del Mar. It was called uh, Millennium Skate Park. Yeah, I wanted you to talk about yeah, that one. Millennium, the, Ray, the guy was named Ray, uh, Ray Longori, I believe, or Ray something, bro. Uh, Cool ass like dude, of, bro. That was like one of the earliest. Yeah, early first, life. first, probably one of the official. Like, it, it was open for a minute, you know what I mean? Till, till something happened, he had to get shut down. But man, he had everything like that you see on TV. You know what I mean? Like everything, bro. He would, we would go so much that he would just let let us skate there, just free. And he had a skate shop and a skate, skate park. Shops, one. Yeah, skate shop showing skate videos. He sold product. He had pictures of like him going to California and shit like that. And then uh, you would just go to the back, and then he would have like punk bands playing, and you're able to skate there. Big old half pipe, a bowl, mini ramp, just some street stuff, bro. It was badass for a kid. Like yeah. growing up, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was two dollars to go in. I mean, <laughs> that's why it was like basically free. You know what I mean? You could yeah, stay there yeah. all fucking day and night. You know what I mean? He he was cool. He was real cool, man. Hey, remember the public pools, man? You get in for like fifty cents or some shit Hell like that yeah. back in the day. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, 25 cents and shit yep. like that. 50 cents, auditorium, that. Was like, yeah. yep. auditorium was like 75 cents, some shit like that. But Hell yeah. yeah, these dudes, so so me being the young guy, you know what I'm saying, I would go with them everywhere, bro. Uh, Justin Merrill would take me with them like to all those parks. And there would be like uh, pro skaters would do tours that would come over here to like a Rangers yeah. Pass skate park. Oh, shit. And they would give away product. And these dudes that I was with, they would get all this shit, dog, and they would just like fucking give it to me. Damn, they would use, they would take off their shit from they'll get new shit here bro here give me boards wheels trucks whatever I needed they did that shit all the time bro all the time yeah, and it's bro. so crazy that like I linked up back up with them and like now when I go to Austin we're fucking chilling all the time yeah. bro and I'm, I tell them man I appreciate what y'all did because I'm still fucking doing it and showing the kids like what you're, they yeah, what, what happened to me yeah, you know what I mean I'm doing yeah. it I'm just doing Passing it's like it down, yeah just doing yeah. the same thing the same thing yeah yeah it's crazy. Man, we're going to get back into the skateboarding in a minute, but when did you start getting into, like, the music concerts and the festivals and all that shit? Um, I know you're, like, one of the few people in the corner, because yeah. I see that's down there at every fucking major music festival that fucking happens. How did you get into that? I've always, like, been a fan of, like, a lot of music. So, like I said, in the country growing, growing up, it was country music. Going to all the shows here, you know what I'm saying? And then slowly just went over to hip-hop, and I was just like, dude... I love hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And then when I got with my girl, she was uh had previously lived in Austin for like six, seven years. 
And when we just started talking, got to know each other, and she was like, hey, I do this, I do that, I do this. And I was like, what? You do all these festivals? So she kind of <laughs> like, she like, you know what I'm saying, like brought me in and showed me like about all this shit that really goes on like in the real world, not just here, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, real shit. I was down for it, and I was like, dude, I learned everything through her, you know what I'm saying? And she showed me, and I was like, it was South by Southwest, Coachella, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, Euphoria, all these big festivals that are like popping bro and it's like it's not for everybody but if you love music and like and not just i'm not just saying hip-hop but if you love music like uh you can like a lot of different music it's fun you know what i'm saying there's there's a bunch of different styles of music that you can go to not just one and because these concerts have more than just one genre is what i'm what i'm saying she puts you on the local music too right yeah on the local scene too yeah Yeah. because she because she was friends with a lot of the guys from from Corpus, you know, from Sushi Bar. She hung out at Sushi Bar a lot. Oh, really? So she hung out with all the public zoo guys and all them. So Shout out. Yeah, we w- we went to, ended up going, I think it was to Bone Thugs here or something, and then I met uh, Joe Brock and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But, oh, shit. Yeah. Joey B. But, what was y'all listening back over there in Bishop and, and, and uh, Driscoll growing up and shit? Like, what was y'all listening to as far as, like, music-wise and shit? Country, yeah, like, straight up, straight y'all, up, y'all yeah. Don't like, don't like no Lil Wayne or no shit. Like nah, that. I mean, yeah, there was Lil Wayne, Birdman, Fifty Cent, uh, who else? Uh, like the yeah, shit you yeah. heard on Z ninety five, like the radio, yeah, radio yeah, music. You know so what I'm saying? Y'all wanted to actually in these days buy a CD or some shit. Corpus you have to come to yeah. the damn disco round or or the one that was in the mall that sold CDs of uh, FYE, yeah. 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 Sam and then they have all the section. Got to go buy CDs there or tapes, whatever it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. God damn. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, I think Eminem, when they, when they had their thing. It's yeah, right definitely right. weren't, like, there was nobody, like, you had to want to listen to that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to be like, hey, you want to hear this? Oh, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you had to want to listen to that. Hell yeah. Yeah, to drive the corpus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. My cousins, dog, they would clown me all the time. Man, you ain't in the country no more, cuz. You're in the city. This yeah, is the city, ain't it? Because I was like you country. You know, yeah. Damn. You're in the city, cuz. You, you ain't in the country no more. Oh, Get that damn. shit out of you. <laughs> that shit out of you. are in the city now. So, like, yeah, it was it was, it was, was different. He's like, I don't know if I should be doing this, man. <laughs> exactly. But exactly. I'm going to do it. But I'm doing it. <laughs> I got introduced to street it. football. You know what I'm saying? Over here, like, dude, playing in the fucking Molina in the street. He's all barefooted. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Shit. Good old days when rocks yeah. didn't hurt for some reason. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. when and how do you start building connections Step with right like now. the fucking skateboarding dudes like from like California and all that <laughs> shit? Okay, well like I've all, I've always followed like the popular skaters that when I grew up that are kind of OGs now. So I we we took a trip over there and I really did. I, I wanted to scope it out. You know what I'm saying? I scoped it out, whatever. Then I ended up going to this famous spot called Jaquan. That's where all it's Jaquan Sundays. It's in Koreatown, uh, downtown Los Angeles. It's a famous spot. It's been famous for a lot of years. And if people skate there, yeah, people skate there, it's but a famous skating it's spot? a famous skating spot. Oh, right. It's a, it's called radio Korea. Um, but you can only skate there for certain hours because they will call the cops and, your ass will get thrown out of there. You know what I mean? So it's from like, you have to be there eight in the morning, seven in the morning. So about like one ish, you know what I mean? One, one if in that, the no one in the afternoon, like oh, if that, shit. but if you're like trying to get noticed and you're good, you know what I'm saying? You want to get seen. You got to be consistent on going to that spot because they're all there, bro. Filmers, skaters, pros, whatever. They're Bloggers, all, all, yeah, they're yeah. all, there's people, the there's people doing photography. There's people doing filming. They're at that spot because they know that the top dogs There's show up. There's some potential up. talent there. Yeah. And not just not just that spot, but that spot on Sundays. Yeah. On Sundays, dude. It's a So when when I went, I ended up meeting this uh when you you meet a lot of skate uh pro skater just skating anywhere, but that particular spot um one of the team managers from DGK, he runs the the DGK skateboarding right. team. He's always there, always there, always there. So he took like interest in me, you know what I'm saying? So I started chatting it up with him, got his number, whatever. And he was a cool ass dude, humble guy, you know what I'm saying? And through like that's the kind of connections, you know, that I was trying to get without no, even yeah. like trying to get it, you know yeah, what I mean? But yeah. it was just like 
like dude it was it was that's what i wanted to go for you know what i mean and then i met another pro another pro another pro and you get all the you meet all these so people. this first time that you, this time that you're talking about going you didn't y'all didn't go for a festival nothing you just went to basically <laughs> fucking throw your fucking hat out there and try to maybe see if you can fucking find someone yeah. if we link with somebody <laughs> cool if not fuck it we came to cali and had fun well we went to go to uh we went to universal studios already like, already for sure yeah, yeah. we had the whole the whole week planned out but i was still trying to like i don't know scope it out for the skating scene i still went to skating spots but i didn't really skate you know Already, I mean? we were there to do other things besides but you were still trying to slide in yeah skating yeah and still, still trying to like we went to the, we ended up going getting to go uh came on the jimmy kimmel show you know what i'm saying shit like that and then like the hollywood high school is down the street from there and i walked over there scoped out see if any pros were there or whatever it's a famous spot hollywood high school yeah. they have a Mural of Selena painted on the on the front of it. Yeah, Not yeah. just Selena, but other people. But her, she's on there. It's crazy. But yeah, then uh, next time around was like for my birthday or whatever. We oh, we were going to your uh, Heart Summerfest in uh, near Rancho Cucamonga. That's what it was. Oh, That's really? that that time yeah. we, were, we went to Universal Studio, or whatever. But uh, we go back. And then that's when I start to go for all the skating spots. You know, I look, I go to start looking up. Okay, the court, no, uh, the West House, West Side Courthouse is a famous spot. The Stoner Skate Park, right there, Lafayette. You know, I start hitting all these, all these spots. So starts, you're just on social media, just trying to figure yeah. out the hot spots already. Yeah. Well, I, I from skating videos, you see them. You oh, know what I'm saying? Okay, you okay. see the oh, spots. Bad, bad. You okay, see them on bad. TV Hell or yeah. on Hell videos yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Hell yeah. You start looking up these famous spots. And it's crazy because pause right quick. It's almost like you say, like with the skateboarding culture, you see the skateboarding spots and the shit in the videos, and you want to go try to find those spots. It's almost like, like I say, listening to screw tapes, listening to DJ screw tapes, and you hear them talk about flipping down Cullen. You know what I'm saying? I want to go ride down Cullen. You hear them talk about I'm sipping fucking, I'm sipping a I'm foe sipping down fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ride down oh, such and such street. So you yeah. want to go sip some drink and yeah. ride down such and such street? That's crazy how. Culture influences people even in in different fucking cultures type shit. That's crazy. Yeah, we went uh, we went to uh, Nipsey his shop. You oh, know what I'm saying so stuff like that. We the went marathon, and did. Right? Yeah, we went. He had already passed away at that time. Yeah, I heard he, he already had passed away already. Yeah. How was that going over there? It was pretty scary to be honest. <clears throat> oh man. It, it there was a uh, like bootlegger. You know what I'm saying? Is that what you would call them? The ones all selling his stuff, but it's not. By him, right outside yeah. his store? right outside. It's gated. It's it's blocked all in front of the shop. His shopping center is an L, right? Yeah. So the whole front of it is you can't go in there. But these dudes are selling all. So oh, so at the time the shop was closed or it was open? No, they they it was closed. Oh, okay, closed. okay. Yeah, I thought it, you were trying. It was barricaded oh, because okay, okay. of what had happened. Damn, but there was people bootleggers all bootleggers outside. Bootleggers all from the whole fence. All. Damn, oh shit. Yeah, and they're just kind of looking at you, looking at you, and they like. I'm Mexican, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they're... Hey, where the fuck is this Different dude? breed, yeah. They, they see me, kind of see that I'm recording, and they're like, oh, I guess they see that, you know what You're I'm saying? Just, yeah, 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 I can yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. You could tell, you know what I'm saying? But at first, they were just kind of like, is this motherfucker? You know what I mean? But it was cool. We ate at that uh, spot right in front of it. The food was fucking bomb there, actually. No shit. Yeah, it was pretty good. Fried chicken with uh, Chinese, half and half. So, like, two combinations, bro. It was Damn. badass, yeah. Sound like some Timmy Chance yeah. type yeah. shit. Timmy yeah, Chance it was man, good. Bro. It was good, bro. Hell but definitely hell. scary. Uh, I don't know. Just just the people are different. You know what I mean? They're, you feel like you're going to get robbed? Yeah, I felt that. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. He's like, and then they were not a try to sell mind. me a book. But I was like, <laughs> but I had to watch. You know what I mean? In the car, my girl was in the car watching the whole time just in case. So I was, she, she didn't want to get off. Right. Oh, shit. I wanted yeah, to get that off. Was that sketchy? She I wanted to get off because... That's what I was there for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wanted yeah, to yeah. feel that, you want like, to be there man, I wanted to... For the air and shit. Yeah, no, I, I, wanted, I wanted to be there. But, yeah, it, it was a badass experience. That's crazy. Scary, but badass. So how does this shit uh, start to okay. fucking go off with the Coach Cooley dude? Yes. That's his name, right? Yeah, Coach Cooley. So uh, the the next time I go, bro, he, uh, he talks to me or whatever, and... Uh, we're talking, you know, and he's like trying to give me like a pointers, you know what I mean? This on, is on uh, social media. No, no, this is like in person. He pulls me to the side. How do y'all? Oh, so okay, bet. You see him over there at the skateboard? Yeah, and shit? I see him again at Jaquan at that same spot. Oh shit, already. And he kind of like, hey, what's up, fam? I'm a Texas. This is my boy from Corpus Christi. Whatever. He pull, uh, pulls me to the side and starts starts uh, talking to me and like, where do you, where do I really want to go with the with the brand? You know what I'm saying? 
And so I'm, you had already built a relationship with him at this time? But, yeah. Uh, you were already from the, talking to him yeah, through social from media? The, from the time before, yeah. when he had said, uh, skateboard, uh, what is it called? When he said Skateboard University, you know, yeah. everywhere with it. That's when I had, it was after that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah. I already had went that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's like, uh, where are you trying to go with this? You know, giving me pointers, this and that, how to, how to, the game, you know what I mean? Just kind of, kind of guiding me, you know what I mean? And I yeah. thought that was fucking badass, bro, because... He didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? He really yeah. didn't have to. I guess he kind of saw where I was going with it. He's like, hey, I've seen what you're doing with the mayor there in your city. Shit like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that I don't yeah, even yeah. think that he's even watching me like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. he he's seen what I'm doing. He sees like the, the stuff I'm doing for the community and all that shit. And he fucks with it, bro, because he's doing the exact same, same thing over there, already. bro. Everything that he's doing, I'm kind of doing here. You know what I'm saying? But his is at a bigger scale because it's a big brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And... But still, every like he 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 feels what I'm doing, bro. And I thought I was real appreciate appreciative of him coming to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't yeah. have to do that, bro. Hell yeah. Let's go back a little bit. Then we're gonna come back to the mayor shit. As as a skateboarder that was a skateboarding in the corpus community, like when there was basically nowhere to skate, you were basically just freestyle skating wherever the fuck you were at type shit. How was it when y'all got news that corpus was open in a skate park? Man, we were we were excited, bro. Because there was never nothing like, there was stuff like that here, but nothing like like that. You know what I'm saying? Already. Like where like they made it seem like it's this big there. ass thing. You know what I'm saying? Big uh, bowl, big park area, big everything. You know what I'm saying? Like that big, a real skate rail. park has. Did it live up to y'all standards of what y'all had wanted? Nah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Wasn't I'm enough? gonna be straight up. Wasn't enough? Nah, because. I mean, I'm just going to be honest, bro. Like, it, we, a lot of people here don't surf. And you know how skateboarding and surfing kind of go together. That park is made bowls. Like, you skate in a pool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's majority of that. And not everybody skates that. And it's also called transition. Not everybody's a vert transition skater. There are street skaters. Explain the difference, yeah. So people So the the vert skater is like the half pipe, you know what I mean? The ramp that goes yeah. like this. So that's mainly what the the majority of the space of the skate park is. It's just that one's big and one's small. And the center is the street park and it's very, very small and compact and very hard to skate with with the skate park being so compact with a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. I've seen it. And it gets hectic. You know what I mean? There's people a bunch waiting of kids, on both people sides. People get mad. Kids, you know what I'm saying? Parents, and so, shit yeah. happens. I've seen it all out So there. I feel like whoever had input on this park and okayed it didn't really look into like shit like that. You Having know a mean? more open area. Yeah. It, they made it real for like the, for the squeezed grinds. it all in. You know what I mean? For the yeah, I guess that's that's all they could afford or whatever. But. Yeah, I'll say there's maybe all the budget. And it definitely do. hasn't lived up to its expectation even after the damn repairs. Is there? So the repairs was the latest thing, right? Like within the yeah. past year. Yeah. Okay, was so there what any were the talks? Repairs? What did that? What the did repairs that do? were done on a lot of the park that was like rusted on the rails. I don't know if you saw they're yeah. all jagged edges and shit. And I had mentioned, hey, this is not unsafe for the kids that are learning. Cause they can easily grab onto it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So they redid all the, it's called coping, all the rails, the metal you would see. They redid all that, and um, they put, like, caulking in the cracks, bro, and, <laughs> and it just that's made not, it worse, yeah, right? it just, just looks like white veins in the whole skate park if you look at it, and it's... And you could feel every little... That was the repair? That was before the repair? No, so that, that was part of the repair, and the all the... Caulking, the yeah, fucking... The cracks, yeah. That's basically, it's like a rubbery substance. I mean, it's, it's like caulking So can me. you feel that much of a difference uh, riding over it? Like you, you can still little... skate it, but within time, I feel like that's it's just going to go it's back gonna down. Go because even the concrete they use is chipped already in the mm, same areas yeah. that it was chipped before. God damn. So, I was going to say, so was there any I don't know if adding on? No, they, they added a new like a, a ledge in the middle. Oh, but okay. even at even that is not built right. Like it's just I mean, I don't know what, what they did. They hired multiple peop different people or what or I don't know what they were thinking. They didn't get. It seems to, to me, they didn't get any input from real skaters exactly from here. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. And well, they should have. Skateboarders in general. It just seems to me that they just got some architect dude who said, yeah. hey, I can already design a skate it park. Was, what? I went to te yeah. Texas University, Texas it, Austin. I can design a skate yeah. park. And, okay, you're hired. Like, I, they should have got somebody from the skateboarding community, like he says, yeah. to put input on that shit. Yeah. So now with this new skate park, they're doing the Zoom meetings and everybody's having their say-so. But What's the new skate park? It's supposed to be in uh, West Goose Park. A new skate park at West Coast Park? Yeah. Oh, but 
That's a dope spot for it. Yeah. But yeah, that's yeah. when they're taking yeah. input from skaters. Taking input, but that's a slow process, bro. Man. Slow, you know the way Corpus is. Okay, well that's what I want to talk about with the uh, with the original skate park that we have here. Did that one? Yeah. Did y'all feel like, damn, they're taking forever to build this shit, or do you even recall? Or did it? No, I don't even. I don't remember. I think it was built like already. Yeah, I don't think like so. with no delays yeah. and all yeah. that bunch of bullshit. Not like now, like, no. <laughs> not like now, yeah. Already. Okay, so how does this shit? How do you end up linking up with the mayor and posing for the picture that a lot of people seen, maybe floating around social media so, and shit? So, I, like I said before, my homie Josh, the one that I said has been behind the scenes, uh, here he linked me up with the Shout guy. Shout out Josh and Escape. Yeah, the man, make sure, make sure, man, for sure, for sure. Uh, he linked me with this guy named Adam Rios. He's uh, on the committee for the park and recs and skating and BMXing and oh, sports yeah. like this. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's got connects with the mayor. He's he goes to those meetings. He speaks for us because he's saying? with the city of Corpus yes. City Parks and yes. Recreation. Yes. Bad, bad, bad. And he's basically talks for us. You know right, what I'm he, yeah. And he's one of y'all. Yeah, he he got he uh, talked with me. You know what I'm saying? We got to know each other, whatever. And he's like, anything that goes down, he lets me know. You know what I'm saying? So he ended up uh, inviting me to the. He's saying that Paulette, the mayor, ended up. Wanting to invite me to the ribbon cutting ceremony of the skate park uh, reopening, reopening of the skate yeah. the skate park. So, um, we ended up doing the ribbon cutting ceremony. They let me keep the rib half of the ribbon, and uh, she's like, "Hey, I want to ride the board." And I'm like, "What? For real?" <laughs> I was like, "In those heels?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "All right, cool." So Fuck I her, get her right, and I'm like trying to hold her, and I'm like, "We go once, and it's kind of slow, whatever." And she's like, "Hey." I want to go again, but I want to go faster. And I'm like, what? All right, cool. So you see in the video, there's like, I guess two videos there. She wants to go faster. And, uh, you know, that was that was the first, you know what I'm saying, I think done. And I don't know. I've never seen anybody, you know, the mayor rides somebody, this one of the skaters, nice skateboard, you know what I'm saying? I don't. Yeah, it's usually the, the opposite. opposite. Yeah. 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 So, so uh, running people off. yeah, man. And <laughs> it was cool, man, because there's a bunch of cameras and shit like that. And it's not ever like that for skaters here. You know what I'm saying? They're, nah, they're like getting shoot away all the time. You know what I'm saying? And for that to be like with all those people and she's like, hey, get the news guy. And hey, you got to interview this guy. You know what I'm saying? And I ended up giving helmets away, too, at yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, event yeah. of the skate park. You know, it was like 20 or 30 something helmets I gave away. And the only problem I had with that was correct me if I'm wrong. But the only problem that I had with that was. If I'm not mistaken, they had it during the week yes. at the time that school was yes. going on. I feel right. they should have had that on a Saturday or a Sunday yeah. to give the youth yeah. and the actual people who are going to use the skate park a chance to be out there yeah. with actual ribbon cutting and cetera. I agree. And shit. That was the only problem I had. But other than that, that shit was dope as fuck. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, man, it, it was cool. So that's how I ended up linking with, with the, the mayor here in Corpus. Oh, really? To shit. Adam. Let's talk about Scab Mafia and then how you transition from Scab Mafia into starting Skateboarding Universal, man. So, like, so what when, was Scab when, Mafia? What were y'all Scab, doing and everything? Okay, Scab Mafia was was the first crew that, as a old as me, this age, you know what I'm saying. I ended up linking with uh, with Matt, my homie that uh, I knew through Moody. I ended up seeing him at the skate park, and uh, he had a clique called Scab Mafia. Him and Tony, they both created it. Already. Shout out Tony and Matt, man. Uh, they've been around for a long time too, bro. Since since they were, I think in high school or something. So they they still got it going. But uh, he ended up linking me with Tony and Ted and Ray Raw and all the them them guys from Scat Mafia. We would skate right here at Berlinga. Matt's like, hey, I got this homies. You know, we could skate, bring our own stuff. Same thing. Yeah. And he uh, ended yeah. up like just they ended up making me part of their clique. You know what I'm saying? And. They would have merch. They would be part of events. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they took me in. You know what I'm saying? They, as as me being older, you know what I'm saying? They were the yeah. first click as older guys like that took me in and gave me product and you fucked know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, fucked yeah. around with me, my skating. You know what I like mean? Like endorsed you type yeah. shit almost already. And uh, it was badass, bro. And I'm being being cool with them still. I'm still part of that. You know what I'm saying? Just because I have my own thing doesn't mean that I'm not a part. I'm still yeah, part really. of them. You know what I mean? Because they're my first like, yeah, like really. as an older guy. I I. Cause you know you slow down as you get older. You know what I mean. You yeah, skate, yeah, you don't right. skate. You just skate, you don't skate. But I started to get real heavy on it because of just going and doing things that made me want to like. I have to do it. I have to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, Scab Mafia was the first like as an older click to. to and these are dudes that were your age. Or yeah, they're they were my all okay, my age. Bad, yeah, thirties. Uh, oh really? Shout out Scab yeah. Mafia. Matt and Tony, man, they're they're the creators of it. So how does skateboarding Universal come up? 
so I wanted to like, I know I, I wanted to do something of my own. You know what I mean? Because and you were just basically just wearing endorsing their product. Yeah, yeah, you were basically yeah. just wearing their merchandise yeah, already. Yeah. And not that I didn't want to w- not wear their stuff anymore. You know what I mean? Because I just still, wanted I wanted to, it to be my own thing. Yeah. That, it right. came from me, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah, to, yeah. to represent who I am no, and what right. I do and what I'm about. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, that that when I went to uh, L.A. that that one trip when I first was was uh, seeing uh, when I met Cooley, he was going live, bro, and he's like, "This is my homie f- from Corpus Christi." And he's like, "Let me see that SUC beanie, bro." <laughs> and then he like goes, and, "It's on YouTube, bro. You can yeah. see it. It's yeah. on YouTube." He goes and zooms into my fucking beanie. And I'm like, am I the first person to wear SUC at this fucking iconic place? And I was like, I think I am. So he turns the camera or whatever, and he, he's like, hey, man, sk- uh, was talking about whatever. He's like, Skateboarding Universal, we everywhere with it. And I heard that, and I was like, that's my fucking brand name, and that's my slogan. Damn. And, then, and then I told him, and he was like, oh, what's up? Took pictures with my shirt, and I gave him my, my, some merch, you know what I'm saying, both times yeah. that I gone. I took him an SUC shirt from the shop in Houston, bro. Damn. I bought him a fucking shirt from over there, and I took it to him. So you, after you got your Skateboard Universal merch yeah. pop uh, printed up, you'd say you took it over there, and he endorsed it? Yeah, he fucking took a picture with me. Like He's like, hey, dog, get that shirt. And I was like, all right, got the shirt. Damn. Took a picture with it. Hell yeah. But, yeah. Met some cool guys, bro. Satoshi's another one, man. He's a... Uh, He's a he's a guy who like puts on these youngsters. He he like I said, he he's doing everything that I want to do. You know what I'm saying? He 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 fucks with the younger generation, bro, and he, he has a van, he takes these kids everywhere they want to go skating, bro. He, he's putting them on, meeting meeting them with the right people, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, Damn man, that every like the LA if if skateboarding is everywhere now, you know, it's an Olympic sport, but when to me, it was L.A. That was a spot to be, and it's. I still want to be there. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, I still want to go and do. You play all the old skateboarding games. That's where they were all basically yeah. based in fucking yeah. L.A. And yeah, shit, bro. You know that's that's yeah. that's the spot to be, man. It, it really is, bro. Yeah, some of the Tony Hawk games. Yeah, I'm saying, hell yeah, yeah. Some that shit, shit hell yeah. Shit. So, what are some of the events and uh, giveaways that you've done with the skateboarding universal? Some of the merchandise, maybe you pressed up and stuff like that. So uh, some of the like the events I've done, I've been a part of like the South Texas contest series where you kind of uh, sponsor them, give away merch, you know, uh, help them judge or MC the events. Anything that I can do to help them, I do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they need, I'll do it. And uh, that has been going on for a good while. Uh, they do like stops in Kingsville, you know, at the local parks here. Oh, man. Uh, they did one in Victoria. They did one in Beeville, and it, it's it's gotten pretty big, bro. These kids come from uh, all over. You know, they, these girls come from the, these two sisters, uh, Tamara, Ghost Girl. Man, shout out to her, man. She's one that stands out to me because she shows up to every event, bro, and kills it. The youngsters, yeah, youngsters, girl, <laughs> off in the valley from oh, Edinburgh, okay. I believe. They're two little, they're two sisters, bro. That's what's up. And yeah, we do that, and I've done like a, a homeless give where I get, uh, make food, you know what I'm saying, give it to the homeless. I gave clothes to the homeless. Oh, uh, right. We did Toys for Tots events uh, oh, where cool. we collect Toys for Tots during a skate, a skate event, and I take it to the women's shelter, the Purple Door, I think that's what it's called. Oh, really? yeah. Yeah. Donate. Uh, I even donate a lot of women's clothes or whatever clothes, you know what I'm saying, because they take anything there, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. And um, we're going to do uh, June... 10th i believe we're doing another event in kingsville it's through my homies uh triple c uh triple c brand they're out of uh, kingsville i believe Did they you? asked me they asked me if i wanted to be a part of it so that'll be my next uh thing i'll be a part of i'll be taking some of my merch some long sleeves some uh cap some beanie stickers yeah. giveaway to the kids out there man and they're real appreciative appreciative of it you know what i'm saying they're they're a bunch of youngsters dude and i like that they want to keep skating, you know what I mean, oh, man. Right. I like that shit about them, about them, man. So that's what I say. So the skateboarding community is is it, the youngsters. They they're still at it today. Like they ain't gave yeah. up on it. Nah, bro. You see a lot of young kids skating better than the than the older than the guys. Generation you know what I'm that was before them. Yeah, hell yeah. Damn, I hell believe yeah. that. Bro. And as long as I see that in them, bro, like I'm, I'll do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Stuff has happened because I wanted to do like a Texas tour with with my brand. I wanted to be like the first out of corpus to take two kids on a texas tour and do stops like at every skate park paid for because nobody's doing that shit for them you know what i mean and film them and put them on because they're they can't afford to do that you know what i'm saying they're kids bro or teenagers or whatever 
They might come from broken homes and shit like that. But they got the talent. Just but they the got bugs. the talent and they don't got the funds to do it. So, like, you can go to the skate park and ask them, bro, hey, bro, you got a deck? Hey, you got this? You got... Yeah, bro, when I come next time, I got you, man. I, I'll get it. I'll bring it. You know what I mean? Or I, if I have it, I'll give it to them. Yeah. Because I know how good they are, bro. If You know what I'm saying? They, I tell them all the time, I'm giving you this, bro, but I want you to, like, stick to this shit. You know what I mean? It'll, yeah. it'll get you out of what you're going through right now. You know what I'm saying? And as a youngster, something break on your board, yeah. you might be out of there for fucking For months. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That is a brand. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. So they all, you know what I'm saying? It, they know me there, bro, because of... Like, because they don't have nobody showing them that shit. I don't see any other man out. I mean, there might. I'm not saying that there isn't. But showing them that there's a way out because it's not always going to be rough. I know a lot of them kids come up rough, bro, and I know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, and right. that's why I want them to, like, man, this dude right here, he, he showed me. You know what I mean? He showed me. Like, a lot of them kids go to the skate park like yeah. as, an, as an escape type Yeah, shit, you know? exactly, yeah. bro, because they, you know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're going, th- like everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure, but, shit. So what you, what's coming up next for Alex Skates and Skateboarding Universal, man? Like I said, I got that event on June 10th, bro. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to... Where's put, that one at again? It's going to be in Kingsville. Oh, already. Okay. Uh, it'll be like a probably a kids kids contest first and then the adults next. And then they'll... I don't know if they'll do like Best Trick and they have some bands playing. They have fucking food vendors, uh, other vendors like... You know, selling product oh, or merch. Really, yeah, it's not yeah. just me. It's it's it's. Oh, really. There's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty yeah. big thing, man. The city's involved and shit like that. So, they allow that for for them to have music and stuff. That's pretty cool. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, sure. June the 10th, man. We'll we'll be out there, bro. It's it's gonna be a good turnout. Hell yeah, for sure. Where can they catch catch you at skating, man? I know y'all be doing like some pop ups every now and yeah. then where y'all just be skating at like the schools and shit. What's some of the main spots y'all be at skating? We do like uh, mainly on Tuesdays. I do RMA Tuesdays. I take my stuff, man. I, I have a bunch of ramps and rails that I built by myself. Y'all ever want to go, man? It's it's no judgment zone. You know what I'm saying? I I could teach. I could chill. I, I could skate. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, man. Y'all want to go? Y'all want to take your kids? Explain where RMA is at for the people. RMA that is on Carroll Lane and Staples, right by Ray High School, right next door to Peerless Cleaners, man, in front of El Sol Mexican Restaurant. Yeah, between Castores and motherfucking Carroll Lane. Carroll Lane on Staples. Shit for there, you can catch know. me anywhere uptown, downtown, or at the skate park, man. For Kicking sure. it with the homies. For sure, man. Thanks. Before we get up out of here, man, let everybody know where they can follow you at, man. You can follow me at uh, Alex Skates underscore one at on IG or my skateboarding brand, uh, skateboarding underscore universal. And if you want some merch, just holler at me, man. I got it all. For sure, man. Hey, man, it's your boy DJ Lil King, Riding High Podcast. You know what I'm saying? My dog Drew PM stopping through, help me with this interview today. You know what I'm saying? My dog Alex Skates. You know what I'm saying? It's holler been at a long me, baby. Time. We've been waiting to do this, but man, we got this motherfucker knocked out, man, for damn show. Appreciate Hell you yeah. coming through, man. Hell yeah. DJ Lil King, Riding High Podcast, man. We out this bitch. Peace. <laughs> Your boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? 